original plan at this point was to give you a little uh, survey of music history, the first few centuries of serious music. Well, I've given up on that as being just too broad a topic. We wouldn't be able to do it very effectively. Well, to be honest, that's what I tried to do a year ago, and I ended up with what I'm sure was the most boring of all the videos that I made for this course. So, we're just going to hit a couple highlights in earlier music. The type of music that is most honored, most uh, influential, and the most likely that you're going to hear if you do something like go to a concert of classical music. Uh, music that, that you might hear from the Bethel College Concert Choir, in fact. Um, begin with, we will do the highlight of the Renaissance. This is late 1500s, roughly uh, close to the time of Shakespeare. This is when the ideal sound was the a cappella choir, a choir with no instruments, usually divided up into four or five or six voice parts. And we're going to hear a little bit from a sacred piece by Palestrina. I don't know if you've heard the name Palestrina, but he was definitely the most famous and most copied composer of the late 1500s. This is from a mass, a sacred piece, from very early in the sacred service. And the text is just two words, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. And now for a contrasting piece, but interestingly enough, one from very much the same time, late 1500s. This is in English. It is by a composer named John Farmer, and it is also a cappella, that is, no instruments, just the voice parts, but it's a much different character. It is a madrigal. It's kind of funny, too. It's a, maybe even a little bit risque. Um, madrigals were popular at that time to be sung not for an audience, but just for the benefit, for the enjoyment of the singers themselves. Um, let me give you the text for this. It's a little longer than the uh, sacred piece, but still fairly short, just six lines. Fair Phyllis I saw sitting all alone, feeding her flock near to the mountainside. The shepherds knew not where she was gone, but after her lover Amintas hide. Up and down he wandered whilst she was missing. When he found her, oh, then they fell a kissing. The performers in this group are a, a British ensemble of male singers called the King's Singers. The total group is six men. This particular piece needs only four of them. And there is a, a few sentences of introduction by one member of the group. So this is Farmer's Fair Phyllis. Let's take Fair Phyllis I Saw Sitting All Alone by John Farmer. 
Here we have the typical pastoral scene with its shepherds and shepherdess. But there is something about the way the words are set that seems to add to their meaning. Feeding a flock near to the mountain side. Feeding a flock near to the mountain side. A shepherd knew not whither she was gone. knew not whither she was gone. But after her love, a mint as high up and down, 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 up and
Well, that does it for our brief glance at a couple high points in music history. If you go to Canvas, you can see the uh, assignment sheet and the three recordings for your assignment. The first one is an a cappella sacred piece, although it will be in English. And then the second one is a madrigal, also in English. And the third one is for chorus and orchestra from the early 1700s. It will be in Latin, but it's a fairly short text and fairly easy to understand. So I hope you enjoy those pieces.